EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for October 5th, 2021. For your Tuesday, we're expecting mostly cloudy skies. We have an onshore flow. A persistent onshore flow is going to be expected for the next several days, and that means we're going to have more clouds than sun. So not a lot of precipitation in the week ahead. And today's another one of those days. Just because you have uh, an onshore flow, there is the opportunity for a stray shower in some spots, but not all areas. As a matter of fact, not in most areas. All right. And it'll be a stray brief light shower type deal is all we're looking at today. Uh, by the way, today's Tuesday. No video forecast sponsor for Tuesday. It is the only day we don't have filled. So uh, if you would like to fill out that, well, that last spot for the sponsorship of the Rent Bobby's Hat promotion, just uh, give us an e uh, send us an email to info at epawaweather.com. That is info at M, uh, epawaweather.com, and I'll give you all the information on that. Uh, heading into the winter months, uh, they should be filled on, on every single day, okay? it's it's Just expect that because it's our busiest season and when most people want to advertise anyway. So just uh, uh, reach out to us, and we'll give you the information on that. So no sponsor for, uh, for today. This is the only day I have open. Uh, today, again, uh, onshore flow today, but uh, the very little precipitation. When you wake up this morning, this is looking at 6 a.m. If you're out walking, you know, walking the dog early before work or something, very early in the morning. Give me some showers uh, across uh, central New Jersey, central southern New Jersey, and uh, maybe far east, eastern portions of southeast PA. Uh, high, res high resolution rapid refresh at the same time has something there in the vicinity as well. This is a continuation of what was happening overnight, uh, but this quickly moves out, okay? Very quickly moves out. And here's your stray shower chance. Just a stray pop-up shower here, failing our northern areas there. You can see that just a little bit. Not much, not much at all. And then once we get into Wednesday, the stray shower chance disappears, but we remain mostly cloudy because we are going to have high pressure nosing down from eastern Canada. That's going to continue that onshore flow. Uh, even though we are dry on Wednesday, uh, we're expecting the uh, more clouds of sun to persist, not only Wednesday, but Thursday and Friday too. Same situation where you have high pressure in the right position. And here is that high pressure nosing down uh, from, uh, from southeastern Canada. And that's going to get us that onshore flow here. Here's looking at Wednesday. Uh, it shows a little precipitation here Wednesday, but I doubt it. Uh, looking at just mostly cloudy skies. By the way, the overnight hours uh, with the onshore flow, not impossible to see a little bit of spotty drizzle overnight. Okay, so that would be uh, possible, especially tonight. And then Thursday, high pressure still up here. So we're still getting an onshore flow on Thursday, but generally dry. Same thing here on Friday, generally dry. High pressure's still up here, giving you that onshore flow. So this is going to be a recurring theme, okay, throughout the entire week. More clouds than sun, but it doesn't mean you're not going to see the sun. It just means, means you're going to see some sunny breaks within the clouds, okay? But remaining dry that entire time frame. The rest of the work week should be mostly dry, aside from that stray shower chance today. Maybe some spotty drizzle overnight, but that's about it, okay? Uh, and then after that, uh, Saturday looks like it's going to be a mostly cloudy day. There's a system in a vicinity here, but again, you have high pressure influencing, so it's almost creating a little bit of a barrier. High pressure sitting right here, right in the right over Maine or Gulf of Maine, so it kind of creates a little barrier around here where no, no precipitation can get into our region, and that's what's happening on Saturday. But you are going to be mostly cloudy because you have this uh, in close proximity to us, and you have a little weak low pressure moving along the are trying to form to our southeast near the Carolinas, and it's going to try to crawl northward a little bit. Uh, so you might have a shower here late Saturday or Saturday night, but that doesn't look like to be a big deal. And then perhaps a stray shower here on Sunday as well. This has been trending less and less in terms of precipitation also, which is not a surprise because we looked at this last week. Looking ahead of this week, it looked like a, a, a total disaster with, with rain every single day, just miserable and, and nasty. Now it's going to be more clouds and sun, but the alternative would have been just a rainy day every single day throughout the week and that has certainly changed and as we're getting closer to, to the, this weekend coming up less precipitation is modeled the only thing that is the only caveat to this whole thing is we're going to remain on the warmer side of average so 68 to 74 today 70 to 75 is the spread for tomorrow and i think you're generally in this same general vicinity or as far as temperatures are concerned for uh the foreseeable future here is look here's a graphic i shared in our premium form today this is looking at uh, the euro ensemble projected high temperatures and low temperatures for Philadelphia International Airport, okay? And this is over the next two weeks. This is starting today, where the average high was 72, and October 18th, the average high is 66. This red line connects that, what average is for that entire period. And you can see every single day, 
It's not much above average, but it's above, it's on the warmer side of average on most of these days. And yes, it does tail off down here at the end, but you're still at the very end, uh, still 68 is still higher than 66. So you're still technically very slightly above average, even when it's getting cooler with time. I and mean, that's because your daily uh, highs and lows are dropping by about three degrees on average per week. Okay, so you're going to see a drop. Uh, so it's going to have to drop one way or another. All right, but it's uh, probably not going to be to the very end of October, we think, and then the first week of at least the first week of November that we start getting into some near average or maybe even near to slightly below average, and then we'll be back in the 50s to low 60s for highs at that time. So, uh, But again, it's all, it's all relative to normal. So this is something I wanted to share just so you can see a visual. It is going to be warmer than average, but we're not talking about 90s here. Uh, but there are also a couple of warm days in here shown as we get into, uh, you know, toward the end of the second week of October, still some warm days here in the Philadelphia region, getting close to the 80 degree mark. So just keep that in mind. Uh, next couple of weeks, don't expect any crisp, cool call, uh, autumn mornings yet. Uh, that will come again, uh, but it's probably going to be toward uh, the end of the month, as we're at least the last 10 days or so of the month of October before we start to see some of that coming back into play. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martris. That is your outlook for October 5th, 2021. Have a great Tuesday.